Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Juan and I'm from Refcom and I'm here to show you a few more tips on how to get that correct sound from your whistle for a rugby league referee. To get that great sound, you're going to need the right tools. And one of the tools is the Acme 58 and a half Thunderer. Mark's here. Stay on the mark. Once you've got your Acme 58 and a half whistle, get yourself a handband. Um, you've got the wristband or handband from JSS. These are only worth $9 um, and are great um, looking and makes you look stand out professional instead of just having a, a shoestring, which most of you use, um, as the band. As a junior referee, you should always carry two whistles. One, obviously, to run out on the field with. Uh, the other one is a backup, just in case something does go wrong. Uh, some of the examples are, uh, you get mud in the whistle. Um, I had the bad experience of eating a lolly at half time uh, and then running out on the field um, and then unfortunately a bit of the lolly got stuck in the whistle and I didn't have a whistle so I had to change it halfway through the second half. Uh, here's a tip, don't eat a lolly at half time. Now once you get your whistle and you've got your band and you're ready to go, um, we'll unpack it here. The whistle just slips onto the band itself. Um, oh, yeah. Once you've got it on, uh, you're ready to go. Some people actually boil the whistle. Um, they believe that it gets the pee nice and hard and to give it that more of a, a loud uh, sound. Um, I don't. Uh, some do, some people do, some people believe in it. Uh, I don't. Uh, so this is a brand new whistle. As you can see, I just got it out of the packet. Uh, I'm going to blow it now. Uh, see what it sounds like. Um, here we go. <coughs> Doesn't sound bad for a brand new whistle and I haven't done anything to it. Um, haven't put it in water, haven't boiled it, um, haven't done anything. How to get that deep tone in that whistle? Um, we went through that in the first video, um, but I'll go through it again. Very simple for me, and the way I do it, is I create an extension of the chamber but with my forefinger and thumb. Um, I'll have a close-up of it, and I'll show you that um, it's basically just an extension. Um, I then make sure that my mouth is sealed around that whistle uh, and close to the, the chamber itself. Um, and then I just let out a massive burst uh, from my lungs. That way... I can get as much air into that whistle as possible and create that deep sound that uh, most rugby league referees have. Forward, forward, mate, forward. Time out. Okay, time out. If we want to call time out, um, it's really three quick chirps uh, of the whistle. Um, what I'll do is I'll blow the whistle, show you what it sounds like, and I'll tell you how I get that sound. Okay, now obviously it's three quick blasts from your, from your lungs. And the other thing you do is that the last whistle, I roll my index finger over it, um, hence closing that chamber and creating that muffle sound at the end, um, which basically stops the whistle from sounding anymore. The other thing that you do with those three chirps is use your tongue to block the air going through the whistle itself. This way it's a nice crisp sound. Um, whereas if you don't, it'll just sound like uh, you'll get the attention. However, it's, it, it doesn't sound as crisp and as professional as the, the three with the tongue stopping that sound. So that's your time off signal. Down. I'm good here too. That there is basically your try signal for me. Again, I use the same technique, uh, the forefinger and thumb creating that extension of the chamber, 
mouth right over the whistle, making sure that it's completely sealed, getting all my lungs filled with air and blowing it through that whistle. Once I want that sound to start deadening or slowing down, I roll that, that forefinger over the chamber, thus creating that dampening sound and finishing at the end. That whistle I use is basically for a knock-on um, that players may have not seen, uh, or a forward pass, or any time I want to stop play and go back for a scrum or another incident. This stops play, gets their attention, and I make them aware of what's going on. The way I do that whistle is similar to all the other whistles, but are just a short burst. Very short burst, and then make sure that I roll that index finger over the top of that chamber, so that way it deadens that sound. Time you run! Some of you have actually heard some fantastic whistles out there. Dan Munro's got a fantastic whistle. Tim Rutherford's got a fantastic whistle. If you ever get a chance to see these gentlemen um, doing a Queensland Cup game, um, please go out and see them referee. Not only um, are they fantastic referees, but they have a great sounding whistle. Uh, and, and go up and ask them, talk to them. I'm sure they won't mind. I know Tim Rutherford doesn't mind any compliment whatsoever uh, about his whistle. So go up and see him and ask him how he gets that sound. Um, I'm sure he'll let you know that he's practiced a lot to try and get that sound. Um, and he, he does, it do, does sound fantastic. I hate saying that, Tim, but yeah, it sounds fantastic. Need to have some of the big screen. Now, there are other ways of holding the whistle. Um, I'm sure you've seen the NRL referees, every one of them hold it differently. Um, I am only giving you a tips on the way I hold it. Please, if you see a referee and that's got a great sound that you want to copy it, go up and ask him. I'm sure they won't mind. Um, in fact, I think they'll, they'll appreciate you coming up and asking them how they get that great sound. Um, I know I do. I'm, I'm happy with the sound that I have for my whistle. Uh, and I'm sure that most of you guys are happy with the sound that you have now as well. But if you want to improve it, go up and ask the guys. Um, We'll, we'll let you know. We'll, we'll talk to you and we'll guide you through as much as we possibly can. But it's up to you to get out to the football park and practice. Blow that whistle as much as you can. Um, how else are you going to learn? Don't forget, if you want to get a brand new Acme whistle, we sell them here at RefCom. Um, we also have a sale on at the moment with the band um, for $20. So you get your whistle and band all ready to go for only $20. Um, if you're an association and you want to be supplied our whistles from us, give us a call or message. We're more than happy to get a super price for you so that way it looks after the junior referees so they're not forking out $20 to $30 for one whistle. Um, so please contact us. Uh, we're happy to help you out as well as our junior referees. So there's some more tips on the whistles uh, and the whistle technique uh, that I've given you. Get out to a park, have some practice, play around with your whistle. If you want more information about the whistle techniques, please give us a call, give us a message. I'm more than happy to help you out as much as possible. Hope you enjoy your 2016 season. Let us know if there's anything else that we here at RefCom can help you with. Awesome.